My name's Alan Eltron Barrel, and um, I'm going to dispel um, confusion with regards to bodybuilding dieting, effective natural bodybuilding dieting once and for all. This is what I did to achieve the physique that I had. Um, I'm no longer a bodybuilder now, I'm a writer. <laughs> it's a strange transition, I know, but um, this March 2012, my debut novel, Kit Coat Rides the High Country, which is a parody satire of the American West, um, is available through the publisher Melrose Books and um, through Amazon.co.uk and .com. So it um, should be out in March, so grab a copy. If you're my old friends and subscribers to my old channel, which I'm locked out of, by the way, the reason for this new one, um, I know you're going to enjoy the book. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. What we're going to talk about is my dieting techniques. Now, a lot of people have asked me on Facebook, um, on YouTube, um, through email as well, what exactly I was doing when I was bodybuilding, how I was eating, you know, um, because they observed that my physique, which is true, my physique goes through stages of mass um, and development, but at the same time seems to become more defined in time. So whereby I seem to be either gaining mass and losing weight at the same time, or at the very least, losing weight and maintaining the mass I had. Um, I don't know if this video is the best to illustrate that, but you can see here lots of different stages of definition with the mass being maintained, kept, or even further developed. I won't say that I increased my mass while losing fat, because that's almost impossible. I will say, however, that I totally kept the mass I had while getting rid of all the fat, and that um, I even further developed the muscle I had in that stage because you can still develop muscle um, while losing weight. You just can't build mass. It's two different goals. So I'm going to tell you now my two main dieting techniques, which will probably surprise you, but it isn't any surprise. They're very, very simple. Very simple. Bodybuilding, it's all full of bullshit. Pardon my French, but it's total crap. Um, it's so simple, it's so basic, um, and that's how you grow and build a real natural physique. Um, a lot of people think this isn't a natural physique, this guy's taking steroids, ETC. That's fair enough, you can think what you want. But some people, where, I, where they watch videos where I don't say anything, and they've seen it for the first time, they actually come and say to me, bro, are you natural by any chance? Because your physique looks a certain way and you just don't see that look anymore. And I kind of say, hey pal, you tell me, you know? So these techniques that I'm gonna tell you now for dieting, the reason they, don't, they aren't really followed in the modern world of bodybuilding is because with characters like Reg Park and Grimmick and um, Gironda, Natural bodybuilding evolution was moving along to great levels and then it just suddenly stopped because steroids came in. And dieting while taking steroids is completely different from doing it naturally, effectively naturally. Um, very different. And okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is actually the diet that, made my, that maintained mass or help to further develop it while losing weight, trimming the waist, getting ripped up, making the biceps look nice and full and round and hard. That's what I want to talk about mainly here. In another video, I'll do gaining mass. My mass uh, ethos is very simple. It's um, basically it's bulking. Um, but my idea of bulking is not some other people's idea. I don't believe in bulking to the point where you just become a big fat power lifter. I believe in bulking with proper strict dieting and nutrition and good nutritious food always. Never eat shit. It's basically that simple. But now, when it comes to what I did to maintain this weight and to rip myself up and to build this physique the way it looks, which is a more natural look. I did something that, um, what's his name? 
Tom Platts used to do, and I truly believe people like Arnold and um, Katz and <laughs> all those golden age guys used to do, and it's called carb cycling. Zero carb cycling. I did it religiously, I did it always, and I believe it's the holy grail of natural bodybuilding. Carb cycling. What I would do is eat zero carbs for four to five days, sometimes even up to a week, depending on how ripped I wanted to get. And then on the sixth day, say you, let's say you do five days, five days, zero carb. You're eating whole eggs, beef, um, bit of salad, uh, fish, mackerel, tuna, mayonnaise, you, 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 cheese. So, there's so much you can eat. Mushrooms, there really is so much you can eat. Four or five days, and then on the sixth day, what I do, co completely depleted, very looking flat, the muscles finally flat, I'd then have a carb up day. And on that day, I would zero the fat and eat lots of high carbs, good nutritious carbs, complex carbs, carb up that whole day, still with the high protein, really fill myself up with carbs, replete all the glycogen reserves in the muscles, and then I'd go back to another four or five days of zero carbs. So in a way, you're starving your body and replenishing it. You're kind of tricking it into a starvation mode, except you're actually giving it vital nutrients while tricking it. You're giving it protein and you're giving it fat, which it uses as fuel. So it'll blast the fat off you and it'll use the fat as fuel. And fat is nothing like carbohydrate. When your body get, gets hold of fat, it blasts it. And one of the main things about this diet is the insulin response, which is an, the greatest growth hormone on earth. And um, okay, we're coming to an end. I'll watch part two on the next video. Um, we'll talk more about this. Alan Eltron Barrel, over and out.